Okay, we're going to connect a uh, iConnect 4 um, to GeoShred and uh, Logic over here. Let's look at the wiring situation. I've got this, this white cable is on the host one port, you, or otherwise known as USB 1, this black cable is on USB 2. Then I got two audio outs here on, on 1 and 2. All right. The black cable comes into the iPad. The white cable goes into the Mac. If you look at the iConnect uh, iConnectivity config app, you can see what the mixer settings uh, should be for this configuration here. So when I when I play on the on the Mac, when I play on the um, sorry when I play on the iPad, if I have local off, I'm getting volume level. It's at sort of this slider over here. Good. But I'm going to turn local off. So now essentially I'm not getting anything out of the um, GeoStrip. But you can see it's it's sending MIDI out. Now let's go to a Logic track. <coughs> say new. <coughs> say external MIDI. Now it's. I know it's the iConnect host one is the thing that I'm connected to. And this is very important. You want to say all the MIDI channels. Okay? Then you say create. So now I've got a track over here that's uh, listening for MIDI on all channels. And GeoShred's going to send on channel one, two, three, four, five, six down down the line. So um I'm going to go ahead and just hit the panic button and clear things up a little bit. I'm going to bring the trace window up just to show you what's going on with MIDI messages here. I've got um, node on and node off tracing. And, oops, sorry about that. Good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and record on Logic. Okay, I'm going to play some notes here. But they they didn't um, they didn't play back to me what's going on. Clear here. Definitely getting Let me see. I'm only sending MIDI out, but I'm not getting any MIDI in yet. Why the heck would that be? <clears throat> well, maybe I've got the maybe I got the, the port wrong, quite possibly. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and let's look at the ports. Maybe it was USB two or something. I don't know. Yeah, that was it. So when I needed to create when I created this port, I needed to make it on USB. Two when I created this track. Let's delete it. So it's not host one, it's actually USB two and it's gonna to listen to all of them. Create. And I rewind here. Let's record from GeoShred again. Clear the window here. That was MIDI out on channel uh, one and MIDI in, um, in on channel one. Interesting, MIDI uh, out on channel two and in on channel two. Same thing, three, four, five, six. Let's look at those, that's probably right, yeah. So that's actually, that's actually looking pretty good. So let me just review what the uh, GeoShred MIDI preset looks like here. Now uh, the device settings here are going to be the iConnect Audio 4 USB 1. And that's, that's I guess, is, I guess what it means is I'm taking from the uh, white one. That's how you could look at it. That's USB 1. The black one next to it's USB 2. And that's why over here, when we had this track over here, in fact, port was USB 2, see? 
Okay, so that's it. That's how it rolls.